Yeah. She's lovely as Barbara. She's mm -hmm. a lovely girl. She's a little bit, she, a little bit sort of like, I don't know, gauche. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and she's not sophisticated. No. But no. I quite like that about her. She's a lovely girl. Yeah, she's, she's a really um, charming character. When I read her, I, I was kind of glad to play somebody mm. so kind. She's a really kind person, and but also not kind of squeaky clean. It's kind of, not she's got definitely problems. Um, not big problems, not sort of issues, but um, she's kind of definitely doesn't get things right. And it's yeah. really nice to play someone like that who has lots of flaws. No, very much so. And a lot of people, if they've not seen Call the Midwife, and I can't imagine anybody hasn't, <laughs> but if they haven't, might think, oh, you know, oh, this, is, this sounds quite cosy about childbirth and whatever. Tackles really important issues. Mm. I mean, we've seen them tackling things like wife beating and underage pregnancy and poverty and yeah. all of that. And also in this series, they're going to be talking about thalidomide because, of course, back then, this drug was seen as something that helped women with morning sickness. We had no idea what it yeah. could do. That's, I think that's the biggest point, actually, is, is the kind of... is the, that terrifying era where you kind of look back and it feels quite... Um, exciting and bright because it's mm. the NHS and of people course. not even knowing they have free health care and then suddenly you get this realization that medicine was not it hadn't progressed it, it hadn't yeah been. it wasn't infallible at yeah, all yeah exactly it? and it's, yeah. it's that kind of fear that there was mm. a, like an unending faith in it and then this this terrible tragedy happens and nobody knows why and they don't know the side effects and, and it was it was really an awful realization that you can't you couldn't trust everything that everyone no, indeed. was being given and, and what i think is really good the way that they, they have tackled it um you, you know you've had to be very careful obviously to get this completely right but there's been the use of like they've used a prosthetic baby they've yeah. used all of that sort of things yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah. been done i mean flawlessly because you, there's a prosthetic baby that's operated by valves right. um, through using air so that the limbs move realistically oh. and then they've superimposed I think I mean mm. I'm not technical whiz um, and couldn't do it myself but um, superimposed this this gorgeous baby's face wow. um, and, and it just looks it's just so realistic and it, I think that's so important yeah, so you, you have get, to get that, that real connection right. with, with the so. story yeah. very very much so and we're going to have a bit of <laughs> a bit of aerobics this yes. is all trying to get people healthy back in the day. It was even happening back then. Yeah, well, but it's really lovely because it kind of gets the girls together. Sister Monica Joan also um, also joins in. And right. it's just this era of women beginning to know a bit more about their bodies. Sure. And they sometimes don't even know the names for parts of their anatomy still. And mm. and it's 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 so it's sort of awful to think there's a disconnect and a kind of shame about mm. people's bodies. And I think it's the beginning of an era of a bit more freedom and coming out of the 50s. That's so. what I love about it. Yeah, yeah. That, I, mean, I mean, I was born in 59 and, mm. and I remember, you know, like the, a lot of it, I remember me and my mum were talking about, about Call the Midwife and how we remember like, that's when you got visited by, yeah. by midwives, you know, they would yeah, come to your house. House, I think I that, that sort of thing actually actually no. happened. Such one-on-one -on -one cares. I know, it was quite remarkable. As well as that, I know tonight you're on stage in Private yes. Lives. Yes. So as if you've not got enough to do, you're doing this too. You're on well, stage as good, well. What's good about being having programmes out that I've already filmed is it makes me look like I'm very busy, but I'm Indeed. actually just doing a show <laughs> each night. Um, yeah, it's our first night tonight in Woking um, before we go on to Bromley and other places. So um, we'll see how it goes. Okay. We had the dress rehearsal. We got it in the afternoon and then it's just, let's go. So. Just go for it. Yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. And will you be watching on Sunday? Do you like to watch yourself? I do. I don't enjoy to watch myself because right. it's painful. <laughs> but um, And it's sort of like, why, am, why are you doing that with your eyebrows? But um, I will watch it because there's so many other people in it. And of it's, I love it. I watched it before I joined it. So mm. I kind of feel like, despite the fact that I've ruined the reality for myself, <laughs> um, it's really, it's a gorgeous show. It's yeah, a I, fantastic I it. show. It's a fantastic, so much to it. Yeah. You know, so much to it. And it looks at so many different issues. Charlotte, we'll be there. Oh, Sunday, good. 8 o'clock, BBC One, and good luck with Private Life Thank tonight. Thank you, yeah, thanks. Thank you very oh, much. Okay. Great to see you. Thanks.